the system we have so, uh, four type of generation baby boomer gen x gen y and gen z right? each generation have their own character they have different behavior they have different consumption so baby boomer uh, maybe uh, is going to retire in the organization now baby boomers going to retire but they have plenty of experience to share then get it is the one that start to do the automation in our organization they change from manual recording to computerize and make a system to ease our work gen y oh sorry gen x most hold the position the important position in our organization now then gen y is going to take over in the near future then gen z is the most is a uh, entry level in the, our organization most of our team our first line in organization full with gen z that have a very familiar with the application based technology so its generation have its strength baby boomer gen x now have a plenty of experience to share they have to be a mentor to the next generation in the organization then we have to communicate its generation transparently why of the decision and how to make it better give can set can x a new thing to learn and include them in the decision making okay the parameter of our employees change this is the survey from the darwin box 2023 before previously the HR more talk about efficiency, cost efficiency. Now, today, employee expectation have changed. HR role should change also. Now, they focus on enhancing employee experience. Before, the employee experience may be at the fifth layer, then come to be the first one. The second important part is do the implementation, align with the process, put the value in our organization process, like uh, performance appraisal, oh. then selection, our selection model in our organization. Now, the Gen Z, before entering the organization, usually they look at the company uh, value. If they fit their value with their own personal value, they, they join the company. Make the value as a decision framework, day-to-day -day basis, then do uh, create ritual in the organization. Like what? Make the best have the best uh, recognition for them usually monthly quarterly semesterly or yearly employee recognition to give them awareness of how they are recognized in the company in promoting the value in the organization
This is the architecture of the human capital. Now we are talking about employee value proposition. The organization should determine goals, strategy, and culture, and how the people in our organization feel. Uh, how they behave, create their value, how they behave, develop their competence, and support them so they can be performed in our organization. Above all, we have to set up a technology system that we can measure their performance, prepare the talent, learning and develop learning and development process efficiently and give reward and recognition for transparently. Okay. This is the example of nine book analysis. How we put our people in the organization into the mapping box. This is the example. In total, 389, 227 is solid player. How to read this chart is like this. We divide, we divide three by three matrix. The axis one is performance and the other is competency. Less, medium and high high competency, low, medium, and high performance. If you see at the, the mapping like this in the graphic, of course we, we want all companies to be the star. Right? Like this, the star. The person that we map at the star box is the employee that is ready to be promoted. And the other three is also ready to be promoted. But star <coughs> is uh, the, the essential one to bring our value, to transform our value to others. Okay. Then the lowest one, they are less competent, but they have a portfolio. They give solid, con they, they are solid contributor to the company. The red one is unfit, we call it dead wood. Dead wood cannot be developed and usually we plan to fire. Then the sleeping tiger we uses, usually call it a brilliant job brilliant job in the company. They have potential. They have competence, but don't want to do the, their job well. In this nine box, we know how to treat them. It's, they give us a picture how to treat our employee. So, if you want to do the value internalization, so this four box, the start, the promotable, will be our channel, change agent, to bring the transformation process in our organization. Yes? Uh, who, who has more potential, the value contributor or the Potential, of course, we have uh, the sleeping tiger, but we cannot expect on them because uh, they want to perform well. So, you need time to uh, grow them. You need to bring up strategy so the sleeping tiger can move from the yellow box to the green box. Need coaching. 
I don't say they are not, uh, they, they really, they're going to be fired. I'm not saying that. But you can coach. Do coaching first. If you coach, you coach them and they don't change, then you decide how to do with this kind of pe people in our organization. Then, how about the solid con contributor? Yes, they want to perform. Yes. This is this kind of people is more easier to develop than the brilliant job. Yeah. Okay. I continue. So the cultural transformation is supported by the internalization and the implementation. Internalization and implementation give us momentum to rise. What we get from the successful journey of the transformation? Our people in organization more consistently show their attitude. Our people in organization more resilient. They more agile. And if the transformation process succeed, of course they are feel welcome. They happy with the organization. They have a good uh, and a corporate experience. Now let's get the case study. Everyone know about this company, Netflix. <coughs> Who don't know Netflix? Even now in hotel room, we don't watch the TV show. We open Netflix. TV cannot open, we watch from our tab, our laptop, or our handphone. What's the, their value? And this, this is their vision, becoming the best global entertainment and distribution service. We are agree with that, because now they are the best and leading in the market. And what's their value? And this their mission is, the mission is to entertain for the world. Now they produce their own movie. And this is their value. Do you see their value match with their performance? Maybe we, we don't interact with them Likely, we we not met with them physically, but we use their product online. Okay. Maybe we don't know about their value, but it's worked in their organization to give us a good product. So we we are cannot change to other channel than Netflix. Then how they internalize their value? I give example the three of their value. Selflessness, communication, and passion. They explain all the value with you, what you have to do in each value. Like selflessness, you seek what is the best for Netflix, not for yourself or your team. That's they want. The organization want. They plan the value very detailed and very clear. How about communication? You are calm in stressful you are calm in stressful situation. Stay calm, not panic. Right thinking, concise and co coherent. Adapt communication style so you can work effectively. They put their detail in every value so the employee are not confusing there's no uh, ad difference uh, opinion of the value they give total framework of their value 
Then they describe their future, they, their culture. Value are what we value. They put the value above of all culture they want to build. So the first thing, see value. Value build our organization culture. They, they want their staff to be high performance. They want, they apply freedom but responsibility in the organization. So when we see, we see this culture, The freedom and responsibility is what they offer to the employee for the good experience of the working environment. Right? Context not to control. That's they told the leader in the organization to be consistently show the value. Pay top of the market. They push the innovation so the client, the customer want to pay the top. So the employee can. Uh, they also want to pay the employee the best, but you have to high performance also. They include, they give opportunity to their Gen Z to learn promoting and development. Okay, you get the point? Okay. And now uh, we have a point of view. Uh, we feel we get time to transcribe and listen to the music. Then we have to answer the question from the picture we saw. Okay, we call it coaching game. Let's start in the coaching game. Get the best uh, position of seat you can. Get your soul flow with the music.
Okay. Then here is the QR code. You can scan. Then there will be a card. You can choose one of the card and leave the others closed. Uh, then we we going to answer the question together. Just pick one card. You can zoom. If unclear, you can zoom with your handphone. Then pick one cup and zoom. Zoom, pick one cup. You pick one cup and zoom. Which cup you love to see? Pick just one cup, not to open many, many cups. Any trouble? Pilih satu. Pilih satu ya. Nanti. Saya kasih pertanyaan kedua baru kita pilih lagi. Oke, okay, satu dulu. Just one at this time. Oke, okay. you see the picture already? Question number one, please. Organization, organization in my point of view. How do you see your organization? You see the picture, then you reflect the picture. How do you feel? What interesting for you? Then you answer those questions. How do you see your organization? You see the picture. Yeah. Okay. Get what you feel when you saw the picture. Realize uh, what interesting in the picture. Yes. Don't worry. Just show. Just just saw your picture. See your picture. Then realize what feeling. Then you answer the question. This is the cognitive side. I want you to feel, get your feeling, then you answer the question. The picture frame your cognitive side to answer the question.
Okay, finish. Can we move to the second picture? Ada yang belum? Semua udah ya? Anybody not still look at picture and cannot un not finish to answer the question? Okay, now back to the card. Choose the second picture that you like. Pick the second card. Which card you, you prefer? Which card you like? Okay, you pick the second card already. See the picture. Feel how you feel. Get how you feel. Then see what interest, interesting that capture you in the picture. Okay. Then we going through the second question. How do you see yourself as part of your organization? And based on the second cut, you see, please answer the second question. How do you see yourself as part of organization?